morning guys so welcome back to my channel it's like eight o'clock in the morning and i'm going to the grocery store because <laughs> i didn't feel like being in a crowd so, so let me go to the grocery store early let me get up i didn't do my exercise this morning but i drank some coffee so my tlc coffee um, i took my nutriburst but this video is not about that this video is about apple now i'm doing this video on an apple cell phone i have three apple cell phones my children have apple um my other child she has uh apple uh ipad my aunt has apple ipads um my grandmother just got an apple phone uh you know my cousin my husband doesn't have apple he said no he's not an apple fan so apple is doing a four to one split now i'm not a stock advisor i'm not a financial advisor i'm not you know like a financial expert when you come to my channel all of this is my experience my knowledge the things i invested in but i follow experts i listen to experts i invest to listen to experts and if you are in my black wealth class i give you those resources of those experts that you can follow so apple is doing a four to one split the last time apple did a split i think it was seven to one i think it was in 2014 or 2016 so this is an opportunity for people that think apple is overpriced so right now as of me doing this video right now let me look as of me doing this video right now let me tell you how much apple is because last time i checked on the weekend it was like 450. um right now apple is 437 right so apple is 437 okay okay so the average millennial don't want to pay 437 dollars and 50 cent for one share the average baby boomer don't want to pay 437 dollars and 50 cent for one share so what apple is doing is doing a four to one split so let's just say you did buy one apple share at 437 now you're gonna have four shares of Apple when it does split. I think it's on August 28th or August 31st, but you gotta study this. See, I've been studying stocks for three years. I've been studying stocks, guys, for three years. Don't just jump into Apple because Tanisha said buy Apple stocks, right? I'm not a financial advisor. All of this is just my experience and my knowledge, uh, you know, for entertainment purposes, because now we gotta say that on YouTube. Um, so do your own research do your 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 research okay apple is getting into the medical space the healthcare space right and apple wants more investors so in order for apple to get more investors apple has to lower its price so they're doing this split so that means on august 28th or august 31st when apple splits four to one Apple stock is going to drop to like $90 or like $100. Now, that's more affordable for the millennial where you can just buy it on Robinhood or you can buy it, you know, on one of these apps that you can invest in. Um, and then it's more affordable for the baby boomers who also is getting into tech, right? Because the baby boomers, they don't know nothing about tech. They don't know nothing about technology. They don't know nothing about you know all these apps and downloading all this stuff and text messages and stuff so apple wants to appeal to the millennial right because in the pandemic apple products sold way more <laughs> people in the pandemic was home and said oh i need a new iphone oh i need a new ipad oh i need a new apple watch in the pandemic <laughs> so people were buying more of apple stock i mean more of apple products in the pandemic so the CEO, I think his name is Tim Cook, and he said that he wants to appeal to millennials and baby boomers because the other people that's already in, they already got Apple stock. So those that have Apple stock already, now you just have more Apple stock. Those that don't have Apple stock, now is the opportunity to get Apple for a deep, 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 deep discount. <laughs> 
It's literally going to go from 437 or 435 or whatever it is, 430 right now, to like $100 or $90. So, remember I always say, you know, you want to have capital. You want to have access to money all the time. Because when opportunities like this for Apple, because you can buy your children a thousand dollars worth of Apple stock. You can buy your husband a thousand dollars worth of Apple stock. You can buy yourself a thousand dollars worth of Apple stock. Apple is now a long-term play. This is not something that I want to buy. Apple. So the Apple stock is going to go back up. So, if you buy it for $90, it could potentially go back up to $400, right? But it is a long-term play. It's a long-term play, guys. It is not something that if you just get it today, you're rich tomorrow. Right? It's a long-term play with Apple okay it is not a get rich tomorrow it is not a get rich next week if you known about Apple okay Apple has been around for how long 20 years right Apple's been around forever but being that things are changing Apple is like one of the largest American companies publicly traded um, Airbnb is also about to pop off. Huh. People don't know about that. Airbnb is about to be publicly traded. So I'm trying to be a part of that IPO. But that's for another video. But Apple, guys, right now. Let's see if I can open it. I can't do it. But Apple is 437. When Apple splits, it's going to go to $100 or even $90. So, I'm doing this video because I don't see any black men or women talking about doing Apple or buy Apple stock. I see all the older or younger Caucasians doing it as everything. <laughs> Not enough of black people are doing enough of nothing. So, at the end of the day, guys, if you use Apple products, you got an Apple iPad, you have an Apple phone, you have an Apple watch, you got an Apple TV, you got laptops, you got computers, guys, you should invest in this. This is for your children's future. Now, let's just say you buy 10 Apple stocks, right? Let's just say you buy 10 because I believe the minimum that you should buy any stock is 10. Don't buy one. One is nothing. Buy 10. So let's just say you spend $1,000 on Apple stock and let's just say Apple goes to $90 right it goes to $90 so that means you basically got 11 well you get 11 stocks right 11 stocks one 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 right so let's just say it go to 90 right or let's just say it go to 100 divided by 100 so you get 10 stocks okay let's just say in five years let's just say in five years say you got a five-year-old so you got a 10-year-old. So you got a 15-year-old. So you got an 18-year-old. And let's just say in five years, Apple, and you study it and you get on the calls. And let's say Apple goes to 500. Let's just say Apple goes to 600. Let's just say Apple go to 1,000 because they're predicting that Apple is going to be like Amazon. Amazon is almost 3,200. Let's go to Amazon right now. Let's see what Amazon dealing with. Amazon is $3,080 right now. This is Amazon. All right. This is Amazon right now. OK, they're predicting that Apple is going to go <laughs> this high like Amazon. So let's just say a thousand dollars in the next five years. Apple will be a thousand dollars in the next five years. And you got those 10 shares. That means you made ten thousand dollars and you only spent a thousand dollars. That's if Apple goes to a thousand. Let's just say. It goes to 500. You made 5,000. And you only spent 1,000. So that means you made $1,000 a year passive income. Right? Without doing work. See, this is the type of money I like to make. <laughs> I like to have my money work. Okay? So, 
I'm not going to tell you guys how much, but in my Black Wolf class, um, I'm going to tell you guys how much I'm going to buy and how much I know of other people and they, how much they're going to buy. Because I have a group, remember, I have a network of people. This is all they talk about is stocks, investing, real estate, e-commerce, and winning, right? So these people drop in millions they ain't dropping a thousand uh -huh. they dropping millions of dollars and they doing it for their kids they're buying apple stock for their children they're buying apple stocks for their children let me say it again they're buying apple stocks for their children all right see i'm all about building wealth i'm all about building wealth so my daughter who's 18 she has a robin hood app so guess what i told her baby Apple's about to split. Let's talk about how much money you want to put into this Apple stock. Not let's get the new wig. Let's get the new uh, uh, Jordans. Let's get the new Balenciagas. No, boo. Let's get some stocks where that money's going to work for you. Period. And then I got my 10 year old. Well, my 11 year old. And I keep calling her 10. My 11 year old. She also invests in stocks. So, guess what, boo? You got an Apple phone, and you got an Apple iPad, and you got a freaking Apple Watch. You need Apple stocks, baby. And guess what? Whatever she wants to put into it, I'm going to double it for her, okay? And make sure she gets some of her Apple stocks, too. Because by the time she's 18, if Apple goes to 1000 if Apple goes to 500 she could have 5000 She could have $10,000, guys. See, this is what I talk about when I start talking about building wealth. My mother did not do this for me at 18. My mother did not do this for me at 10 or 11, right? So I have officially broken the chains because now I know what to do, right? I'm not going to have my kids working hard for money because it doesn't make sense. Now, if you're working hard in your business... That's one thing. Yes. Yes. Definitely work hard in your business. Yes. Because it's yours. And it's something that you and your family are going to benefit. But working hard at a job that you don't even like and your supervisor don't like you and your boss don't like you and you don't like the job and they can fire you at any time. No, don't work hard at that shit. Fuck that. <laughs> work hard on you. Work hard on your business. But make your money work harder. Do you know all the money that you put into the bank goes into the stock market? Goes into the foreign exchange market? Do you know that? See, people don't even know where their money goes. <laughs> Your money goes right into the stock market. Your money goes right into the stock market. So if you think you got 10 grand in the bank right now, guess what? <laughs> the bank done took 900 <laughs> 9,000 and 900 and put it into the stock market or they loaned it out to get the interest and they giving you nothing it's just digits it's just digits it's just digits <laughs> in your bank account because if you try to go and take out 5 grand or you try to go take out 10 grand guess what you can't even do it you gotta schedule an appointment you gotta come back in a week you gotta come back in 2 weeks man listen that shit is a headache now is the time guys we are in the best of times. COVID was a blessing. Corona was a blessing. We we're in the best of times. Guys, if you lost your job, buy a course, invest in some stocks, invest in reading books, invest in a coach, invest in a mentor. Now's the time. If you got the SBA loan, invest in some of these things, right? Some people just like to look at money in their bank account. That shit ain't making your money grow, sis. No, make your money grow. I'd rather put 20 grand into something that's going to make my money grow than me just logging into my bank account every day and looking and say, well, I got 20 grand. I got 20 grand. I got 20 grand. I got 20 grand. Because the reality is, the reality is if you have money in the bank right now, you're losing your buying power. So you have to put it in something that is that is going to grow. So if you're going to buy books, go to Barnes and Nobles or go on Amazon, spend two hundred dollars on some books that's going to make your mind grow. Go spend a thousand dollars on a course that's going to give you knowledge to expand your mind. Go spend a couple grand on a coach or a mentor or someone that is where you want to be. And by the way, I have two spots left in August for my mentoring 
right? Because I mentor people all the time. I help people build brands. I help people build their businesses and make five or six figures with it. So, right? So use money to make money. Use money to grow. Use money to become better. Don't just use money for stuff. Don't just use money for garbage. Don't just use money to buy clothes. Use money, guys, to make money. Use money to make you grow. Use money to make you win. Use money to invest. I didn't learn that until I was like 30 years old, 32 years old. I was like, well, damn, who was going to tell me this shit? My mother didn't tell me. My father. The only thing my dad said about money was save it for a rainy day. The only thing my mother said about money was I am broke. So as a teenage girl, I was promiscuous and I was sleeping with guys for money, right? Because I thought, all right, well, I was always broke. So I needed somebody <laughs> to give me some money. <laughs> and again, right, I have officially broken that cycle. My daughters don't have to sleep with nobody for money, right? My, my kids don't have to do that, right? See, I'm breaking every curse, health, wealth, love, and happiness. I didn't love myself as a teenager, right? I wasn't happy, you know, as a teenage girl growing up. Right? Because I've never had money. My mom never had money. I was never able to get nothing. So everybody looking fly. And I'm like, well, damn. I got to wait till my mom get some money. I got to call my aunt to get something. It's crazy. Right? So again, guys, you know, I am only the messenger. I can't make you do nothing. I can't force your hand. I can't force you to swipe your card. I can't force you to go to my website and put your card information in. You have to make a conscious decision that I am going to officially break generational curses. My mom wasn't happy. I'm making sure I'm happy and I'm making sure my kids is happy. My mom didn't love herself. I'm going to make sure I love myself and make sure my kids Love they sell. My mom was always broke. I'm going to make sure I got the fucking bag. And I'm going to make sure my kids get the bag too. Right? My mom has bad health. I'm going to make sure I have good health. I'm going to make sure my kids have good health. Right? So we have to make a conscious effort. Guys. Hot. We have to make a conscious effort, guys, that we are going to break generational curses no matter what. We have to make a conscious decision, guys, that we are going to break generational curses no matter what. No matter what. No matter what. I don't give a fuck how long it take. I've been in poverty for 30 years. <laughs> Nobody was counting that shit. So no, long, no matter, guys, how long it takes, man, to break the curse, you got to start. And now with COVID, the boat is now here, guys, for us to get on. When COVID is over, which may be in a couple of years, this opportunity of the stock market being on sale, courses and shit being on sale, being able to get people's mentorship and stuff on sale, everything's on sale right now. Everything is the cheapest right now. This is never going to happen in history again. So if you miss this boat, you are done. If you miss this boat, you are done, right? So this is what I help people do. I help people set up foundations. I help you set up a real foundation, not just building a business on air. You actually building it on a foundation so you can build it brick by brick and have confidence that you can build your business brick by brick. Setting up LLCs, getting your credit right, getting access to capital, having a mentor, having the courses, having the books and things that you need, right? To win, buying your own crib, right? Becoming happy and being passionate about what you're doing. It's really that simple. So if you're not in my Black Wolf class, go to blackwolf101.net. You have an opportunity to pay $25 a month or you have the opportunity to do $250 one time. Um, which most of my students are just doing a 250 one time because it makes sense. Um, and then, guys, guess what? Study Apple. Study the stock market. See how you can build generational wealth through the stock market. If you Google Apple Split right now, if you Google or you YouTube Apple Split, 
or the coming split for Apple, you're going to see all the Caucasian men talking about it. I'm probably the only black girl talking about it. Just like if you Google Amazon selling. I'm like the only black girl. Black people ain't doing enough of nothing. <laughs> we got to change that, guys. We got to change that. We do too much fear. We have too much fear. We talk about too many people. We bash too many people. But how many people are actually doing YouTube videos and giving people game? How many people are doing really YouTube videos and selling people courses? How many people are doing YouTube videos and doing and, and, and inspiring and empowering people? How many? How many people are doing videos and making people smile every day? We don't have enough of nothing. We don't have enough of black people doing nothing. And that's a shame. So go to blackwealth101.net and I'm launching my new e-commerce site soon. Hopefully by September. I'm working with my developer. He's like a headache right now. Um, <laughs> but I'm going to do e-commerce everything. I'm going to be doing Shopify. I'm teaching you Shopify basic. And I'm going to be teaching Shopify advanced. I'm going to be showing you how to brand. I'm going to be showing you how to market it. I'm going to be showing you the different vendors. You want to sell hair. You want to sell nails. You want to sell, um, uh, uh, what is it, flat irons. You want to sell phone cases. You want to sell baby clothes, women clothes, whatever. Guys, now is the time, man. Now is the freaking time. No better time than now, guys, to plant your millionaire seeds and break the curse of poverty. I'll see you guys in class. Now I got to get my mask because everybody wearing a fucking mask. <laughs> There's no better time, guys, than now. The power of now is in your hand. Black Wolf 101 and work with Tanisha dot com.